Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We'll press on Code, and then Copy. And that copies the template, and we can paste that into an editor such as Adam. I'll make that a bit bigger for you. I hope I'll make that a bit bigger for you. I'll scroll up on it, and now... Rah, 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 rah. There we go. So this is the template. And we don't need the circle stuff, so we'll get rid of that. So we'll just have put your code here and a stage.update. What we're going to do is make a light show. Now I did actually project this light show on a band, so we've made it before. And it includes these graphics here that we composited. And here's another one that's similar. And we're going to overlap those and run them along. I will scroll them along each other and apply a blend mode all in five minutes here in Zim. So shall we get this the these timer started? <laughs> the starter time. Let's let's go. All right, we're rolling here. Uh, first of all, we want to bring in those assets. So we can do that up here. Var assets is equal to and if we've got more than one assets, we put them into an array. I think we call that lights one dot jpeg comma quote lights two dot jpeg. Oh, look at us go. And var path is equal to there in the assets folder, like so. We add both of those into here at the end here. So this is assets and path and also because uh, they're a bit heavy like 300k each or whatever we might want a, a little a little bar we call it a waiter so a new waiter and we will set the background color of that waiter background color uh, dark. I don't even know if we'll see it. We won't see it locally, but if you were loading it over the web, it is possible that you'll see that waiter. That could also be a progress bar, the Zim progress bar. Now we'll be able to see those by saying, uh, well, let's store them in uh, variables. Const one is equal to frame dot asset lights one dot jpeg. There, that gives us access to it. We'll put that on the stage two, dot add two. As a matter of fact, uh, we should adjust the stage height of that as well. Um, let's see. I don't know how tall they are. Let's go take a look. Uh, lights one is down here, 472 tall. So we'll make this 472. That's how high it is. And then we'll give it some width. I don't know, 800 for now. Just put something in there. We might want to proportionally make that to whatever your projector would be if you were pre presenting most likely at 1024 by 768. So proportionally, you would set that to be uh, roughly the same. We could scale, but this just makes it so it scales it for us. So we'll add it to the stage. And that should be good. Let's see what that looks like when we open it in the browser. There it is in the stage. Cool. Uh, now we want to make that add add that to a scroller. So well, we'll need a second one to copy that, and we'll call this two. And this is lights two. Great semicolons there and here. And then the idea is we want to set two dot. Um, what's that called again? Uh, Blend mode. Blend mode is equal to quote difference, like so. And uh, both of those will be added then, and we'll have a difference blend mode, and we end up something like that. So you see how that's looking neat. Now we want those to move across one another, so we'll put them in scrollers. New scroller, and the first one is one. We'll say how long we can do it at one. It will go in direction of one. And I think that's probably good. So that's the uh, scroller there. And then we'll copy it here. Copy, paste, another scroller, and we'll scroll two. But two will scroll in the negative direction. 
and we refresh here. Cool. Now what we may want to do is scroll these at slightly different speeds. They are different lengths, slightly different lengths, so that means they'll go out of sync eventually. But if we scroll them at different speeds, they'll go out of sync uh, sooner. And that sometimes helps. It then won't show a repeat pattern on, on what you're doing. Uh, but isn't that neat? Oh, cool. Look at that one. Whoa. Woo, whoa, whoa. So uh, that's really neat. And we did that, ladies and gentlemen, in five minutes. As a matter of fact, at some point, we better pause that, uh, that timer. So maybe what we want to do is set this one to 0.75 or something like this, and this one at 1.25, and let's uh, get that timer paused. Nice. All right, um, shall we take a quick peek at that? I, I, I expect it's going to look uh, quite similar to what it looked like before, but now they'll go out of sync a little bit faster. And um, that's good. Then, then we get sort of a, a mix of different patterns. All right. This has been a Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. We're here with the Egyptians, <laughs> or whatever they are, some sort of space Egyptians, mod op art space Egyptians. And uh, we've been coding in five minutes with Zim, made a nice light show. And you can do this with any collage or any, any two images, run them across one another. There's different blend modes as well. And what we do for our light shows is we usually have the keys, uh, like one, two, three, four, five, be able to control things like the speed and uh, stuff like that. So uh, take it easy. Come on and visit us at Slack, zimjs.com slash Slack, and we'll see you later. Ciao.